And here we are then, so we've actually just got off this little train over here that we've actually just been on and we're now going to make our way over to the next train here with all that heavy freight. So we're going to go through the front entrance on this one, through the door and then into the um, cab like so. So obviously the train has already been uh, switched on for us, the engine's actually running so just got to make sure uh, that the uh, brakes are set correctly. Obviously again we've just got to um, just turn the brightness down because obviously I can't see the words like so. So operates control so we just need to set the independent brake to lead like so so that will go up and then we just need to set the automatic brake to freight like so and then those numbers should be at their highest and then we've also got to make sure our headlights are switched on both the rear and the front just to let people know that this train is in operation just going to give the brakes a quick test again just to make sure they work so that's the automatic and then we'll just do the independent the quick one like so make sure it's on release just got to insert the reverser put it on forward and then obviously it's going to be quite a bit of a slow train because there is a huge load of freight behind it so it will probably be a slow drive around the circuit until we actually get to some buffers so we'll go ahead and drive this locomotive oh yeah that's the one thing we've got to do just make sure that everything else is working it's just the generator that needs to be switched on and everything else is working absolutely fine so I think this time we can actually start the train might take a few moments to get it working because obviously it's a very heavy load and what we're going to do, like I just said we'll just take it on a short circuit around the train yard until we get to them buffers and we've got to try and keep under the speed limit as well we don't want to go too fast So I'm just going to apply some braking because of course we are actually going a bit too fast. Just do a little bit. Like so. And then obviously we also need to do the throttle as well, add some throttle to the speed. So I'm also going to just show you how to um, 
get some good views of the train by uh, going to another camera, the external camera. So if we actually uh, press the right joystick, you can actually get some uh, good shots of the train from the outside, so you can actually see where you're going. And just to see um, if the load is alright, so there's loads of different uh, freight we're pulling, there's trailers, there's like, I believe it's like oil I think in there. And of course obviously uh, lots of other different trailers uh, for the heavy goods. And of course just making sure that the train is going at a nice slow speed. which is all looking good so far. So I'm just going to turn off the microphone for a little bit and just let all of you out there enjoy this little drive of this locomotive. So there you go, so that's literally um, how to operate the ES44C4 locomotive. We managed to take it on a, a little drive at first, and then of course we then actually switched trains and then did the um, heavy freight. All we've got to do now is turn off the engine. As you can see here, this is where we actually stopped. So obviously we managed to do a nice little uh, drive with the freight and of course we just literally stopped before the buffers because of course obviously it's very important that you keep the keep the train at a very slow speed because otherwise if you didn't stop in time then the train would obviously derail so it's very important to not hit the buffers at a high speed 
So yeah, that's actually it then for this uh, little tutorial on how to operate this locomotive. I also did a another tutorial uh, on the Class 66 and uh, that went online just over a month ago now actually so go check that tutorial out if you haven't done so already and then of course I'll be doing another tutorial on another locomotive very soon but yeah thank you very much for watching and remember keep on filming and keep on editing see you all very soon bye for now